what's up guys welcome back to another episode of hot roulette and today we're bringing you guys episode number 10 and we finally hit double digits for a hot roulette series which i'm pretty excited about but last episode we ended off with a 14 game win streak and uh, we're trying to get it up to a 15th and 16th one this episode so we want to continue that streak let's not lose it right now especially when the buy now minimum is so high up Anyways, we picked up two new players last episode. We picked up Rick Nash from two games ago. And we also picked up Patrice Bergeron that we still have to give him his debut. So I'm pretty excited to try out his card. Anyways, last episode, I read a lot of your comments. You guys were saying that I was doing a lot of cross creasers last episode. And honestly, re-watching that episode, I do agree with you guys. I was doing a lot of cross creasers. But especially when I'm down 2 to nothing or it's a very close game, my natural tendency is to try to get the goals as easy as possible i do apologize about that i will try to give you guys some more unique goals a little bit more variety but as i start to head into like division three division two division one it'll become even harder to get those goals you guys will be seeing a lot of variety of goals very soon anyways we haven't really changed up the team too much since last episode so i'm gonna get started right into the first game we're gonna see if we can get the win All right, here we go, guys. It looks like he has a pretty good team. I was watching his warm-up, and he's got some really nice players and defenders, so I got to watch out just a little bit. Uh, we got a lot on the line here. We, we need to get this 15-game win streak so we can buy that special player. So we need to get some goals early off in this game. And, uh, oh, man, right there, we lose one goal. Oh, man, 30 seconds in, 35 seconds in. We got to get that goal back. I'm not happy about that at all. There's a goal. Gergensen's with another one, and he makes it one to one. To one. We tie it back up. Oh, off the post. Rick Nash doing some moves there. Come on, pass it down low. See if we can create another chance. Oh, he's just wide open. Rick Nash, let's not do any more cross creasers. Anyway, still one to one. Let's keep it up. All right, end of the first period, and so far we're playing a pretty good game. Let's take a look at the stats. Six to five in shots. 2 minutes and 24 seconds time on attack to 2 minutes and 7 seconds. So, we got to keep up some good gameplay. It's still, uh, like, it could be anybody's game still. So, we got to make sure we play a good, solid second period. Oh, Bergeron's got a break. Nice defensive play. Back in forehand. Oh, no. Oh, and a little cross creaser to Rick Nash. And he tucks it in. Oh, man. At least we got the lead now. I'll try my best not to get... Any more goals and try to blow this game with more cross pieces. But now it is two to one. Rick Nash scores as a goal. Let's keep it up. Oh, and there is another goal. Oh, man. It's a bad habit. <laughs> it's a bad habit, guys. I don't even know. I just want to pass. I just want to shoot right across. But, uh, man, he was leaving that spot wide open for... Uh, I don't even know how I did that move with Wheeler. But he was just wide open. and got to pass to Pro. Anyways, it's 3-1 to one now. Second period. We got a nice little lead. Oh, and there it is. He scores a goal. Another cross crease by him, and he makes it 3-2. to two. All right. We don't want to lose the lead just yet. There's seven minutes left in the third period. We got to make sure we play a strong last half. Oh, no, and he gets the goal right back. I went on a penalty kill, and he makes no mistakes and ties it up. 3-3 three three now in the third period. We got to get that goal back. There it is. We get the goal right back with Rick Nash off the faceoff. Ran right back. We answer. And there's only 40 seconds left in the third period. Oh, come on. That's got to be a penalty shot. There it is. Nice penalty shot. 
Patrice Bergeron making a little break for it. He makes no mistake. All right, let's go for the double backhand. You guys know. Let's see if we can score it. Double backhand. Yeah, there it is. And we tuck it in. And we have finally got the insurance market really late in the third period. That is a nice goal to get. Anyways, it's 5-3 to three now. 13 seconds left. And there we go, guys. That is going to be the end of the game. Pretty good win for us. 5-3 to three was the final score. And look at that. Look at the amount of coins. 2,000 coins for that game. Times 2 for the happy hour bonus. You guys should get your games in if you can. But anyways, let's take a look at the three stars as well as the game stats here. But Patrice Bergeron, three points this game, making a pretty big presence right off his debut. Rick Nash with two goals and Blake Wheeler also getting two assists. So a lot of the lines are starting to uh, perform just a little bit. Anyways, let's take a look at the stats. 25 to 16 shots, 8 minutes and 34 seconds time of attack to 7 minutes and 33 seconds. It was uh, definitely a very close game right at the end, but uh, we still came up with a victory 5-3, to three, scoring two goals in the last uh, 40 seconds, which is pretty nice. Anyways, we're going to be choosing a special card now from random.org, and we're going to be choosing the 25th player, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so we're back at random.org, and we have the full list of all the collection types, so we're going to copy and paste it into random.org, and whatever's at the top is what we're going to be picking. So let's randomize and see what we get. And it's going to be flashback cards. Uh, not a bad uh, collection type, so we're going to go back into the marketplace and choose the 25th flashback card. Here we go, guys. So the collection type has been set to flashback. The buy now minimum has been set to 15,000. And we're going to be choosing the 25th flashback, if there's even that many uh, flashback cards out on the market so far. So anyways, let's search it up. Let's see what we get. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There's not 25 cards, so we're going to be choosing the last flashback card. So it's going to be Curtis Glencross, not a bad right winger for the team. So let's buy him out, see where he fits in. Alright, so it's pretty obvious that our offense is getting a lot better. Uh, I had to take out Michael Bodker from the third line left wing spot to put in Curtis Glencross. Uh, in that position playing alongside with Matthew Perot and Patrick Marlowe. So we're going to see how that lineup works. Uh, I just want to give him a little bit of ice time just to see how he plays for the most part. So we're going to get started to the second game here. Let's see if we can get that next win. Alright, here we go guys. So we're starting up this next game. He's got Marion Hosa, Kessler, and James Neal on his team. So we're going to see how we uh, make out in this game. So let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, off the crossbar. Nice little chance there, but trying to shoot more from the point. See if we can get some of those goals in. Nice little tip from Forsberg as well, but we can't tuck it in. Oh, nice move by Cronwell. He gets by the defender, and he makes no mistake with a backhand forehand. So, right now it's one to nothing. We're getting the lead. Hopefully we can keep it up. Uh, play some good offense. Alright, so end of the first period. And so far, we're playing a pretty good game. Uh, we still have the lead right now. 1 to nothing. 8 to 2 in shot. 3 minutes in time on attack. To 2 minutes and 22 seconds. So, we're really not giving him any chances to score, which I'm liking. But we gotta make sure we play a better second and third period if we want to win this game. Oh, nice pass to Bergeron. Look at that speed. Look at that speed. Oh, my goodness. That was a burst of speed by Patrice Bergeron, almost tucking it in. Lucic absolutely deking out the defender, letting him slide, and he goes both posts in. Oh man, what a goal by Milan Lucic, and that is what I'm talking about. Two to nothing. We got the insurance marker there. Let's keep it up. And there is the last game of this episode. We win with a score of two to nothing, which also means we get to pick up a change team 
or change position on one of our players. But I'm li really liking that happy hour bonus. 800, 1800 coins for that game is absolutely ridiculous. But let's quickly take a look at the game stats here. 23 to 14 shots, 7 minutes, 54 seconds time on attack to 7 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, we played a pretty good game. Uh, for the most part, he didn't do too much on his and for offensive pressure. So not much to commentate there. But let's take a look at the three stars. Nicholas Cromwell, one goal, uh, giving him the first star. Roberto Luongo getting the shadow, getting the second star. And Milan Lucci scoring one goal, giving him the third star. So anyways, we're going to be choosing the 23rd player here, raising that buy now minimum to 16k. I'll meet you guys there. All right, so everything is ready to go. The buy now minimum has been set. Uh, the collection type has been put onto players. So let's choose the 23rd player, and hopefully we can pick up a superstar that we can add on to the team. So let's go. Come on, get us something good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22 23 tyler johnson he's on the left wing for some reason but he's a pretty good centerman in this game so far so anyways we're gonna put him onto the team buy him out see where he fits in and there it is guys we're just gonna wrap up this episode but tyler johnson is now on the second line center spot playing alongside with james neal and philip forsberg and because we did get a shuttle last game I decided to not put any changed teams on anybody, but instead change the position from Tyler Johnson from left wing to center because we obviously have too many wingers on our team right now. A good centerman is going to help us out a lot. So I changed the position of Tyler Johnson, and that should make our second line a lot stronger. But anyways, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you're enjoying this series so far, leave a like. Make sure that you guys let me know that you guys are enjoying it. But anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, what a move and what a goal. Milan Lucci. How the hell did he score that goal? I did the windmill and then went right through the five hole of Luongo. Right through the wicket.